G'day all, it's Brother Blonde and I have something completely different to show you today. It's my green screen setup. What I have is, as you can see, one green screen, which is about three metres high and about six metres long. What I have with the, uh, the screen setup are two fluorescent soft lights. I also have a third one, which I'm not using at the moment. I have a couple of uh, lights up there to light the talent, uh, lighting them separately from the green screen. And my video camera is set up here. Yes, it's set up outside. In fact, it's set up in my garage. This is my, not my standard video camera. It's my old XL1. And the reason I'm using it is because it has a FireWire output so that I can run FireWire into my laptop and uh, have a look at stuff as it's going and I'll show you what I mean in a moment. So if I just back up here you can see the setup that I have. Right, here's my gorgeous model also known as my daughter <laughs> who's not in the slightest bit shy of the camera. Now I'll show you down at the laptop that um, what you see is what you get. But uh, the good thing with this little program is it doesn't do it perfectly, but it um, allows me to actually key out the, uh, the green screen. Uh, hopefully at some stage, if I click the right thing, there we go. As you can see, sorry, there's a lot of reflection there, isn't there? Tough. But what I can do is bring up the background. I can bring up any sort of background I want. And I'll just, I'll do that one. Now, if I get my model to move it half a step to her left, it's very blurry, it's very, um, um, very basic, but it gives me an idea for doing the proper keying later on uh, in Adobe Premiere. But this gives me an idea roughly where to position the person that I want uh, alongside the actual thing. So if I wanted to take a photo now, I would get her to pretend that she's walking. And then I'd go click. And then that would put her roughly in the right position and the right camera angle, etc., to be able to then key it out properly in the um, post-editing thing. So that's what it looks like, um, like that. That's what it looks like, like that. So that's, as I said, something completely different.